Hello and welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor and uh, it's time for a filament review. This video is not related to my previous one where I'm comparing those 14 brands. Uh, in this video I'm testing a Polyterra and it's a Polymaker's new product and as you can feel from its name everything is about environment protection because Terra means earth. Actually I'm very big fan of Polymaker's uh, filaments. I, these are all my filaments, I, I bought them. I have here, I know, uh, Polycarbonate, Nylon, TPU, uh, Polysmooth, Polymax. And these spools are sent to me by Polymaker for a review, but otherwise it's not a sponsored video at all. Now, Polytherapy is the first step for Polymaker to switch to carton spools. And the box and the spool is made from recycled carton. This filament will have a very wide range of colors and it's uh, very cost effective. Unfortunately, so far, the, these filaments were uh, well, quite expensive, but the uh, price of Polyterra in US is a little bit below $20 and in Europe it's a little bit below 20 euros. Oh, and if you use uh, my Tech Fun promo code, uh, in that case you will get 10% discount and it will work until the end of this year. This is not affiliate link or anything, just got this uh, code from the Polymaker. Now let's see what informations I got from them. Uh, Polytera PLA is bioplastic compound, which main polymer is PLA, as well as uh, an organic compound, which makes it more eco-friendly. This means that uh, composting is faster. Now, this is something I cannot test for this video, because composting is a very slow process. Now everybody knows that uh, PLA is biodegradable, theoretically, but most of users don't know that it needs a very specific environment for this. Because for example, I have some uh, sandbox toys from PLA, they are in sand, I don't know, almost a year now, and they're still in perfect shape. And also, I know, I printed uh, a bridges from my swimming goggles, and uh, they are in the water almost every day and they are still in perfect shape. I, once I have to <laughs> reprint them because I for, forget them in the car so that they form on the sun. Their composting test is also in progress but, but they don't have the results yet. Now very interesting information. They claim that for every purchase spool they will plant a tree in a region where that spool was bought. Uh, another thing that, what I cannot test of course but I hope we will see some um, new news on this on their website. Maybe we know how they plant the, the trees or something like that. And uh, let's see some more, more interesting information. Support for Polytera PLA is extremely easy to remove. And this is something I can test. Polytera PLA has a very specific finish texture. Okay, I can see another bench is on its way. They formulate Polytera PLA to not to be brittle at all. And this is an, uh, again something I can test because uh, with the impact test I can measure the brittleness and then maybe I will do some bending tests, so uh, we, we can measure this. And uh, the formula is designed to reduce warping even more compared to the regular PLA. You know warping is when those corners during the printing curl up from the printing surface. Uh, usually PLA is not too sensitive for this. I hope I can uh, force some regular PLA for, for warping to, and then uh, repeat those same circumstances with the polyterra and see if that warping will be reduced or completely removed. So yes, this is something probably I can measure. And now let's see what's in the box. White color. And as you can see, the box is also from recycled carton. I like that this packaging can be closed again. So uh, here, if I cut it here, then it can place back and uh, adding some uh, silica gel. And we can keep it dry. I have to cut it uh, along this line. In that case, I will not damage the, this resealing part here. Yes, and the spool is also from recycled carton. 
We have some holes for, for end of the filament. It is important because uh, never left the end of the uh, filament just hanging here to prevent those uh, filament jams later in, in printing. So it is very important to have those uh, holes for locking. Now, unfortunately, only on two sides, which would be good, I know, to have maybe four. It's just a hole, so it doesn't cost more for the, uh, for the spool. It's good to have a basic uh, printing uh, properties on the spool. I really appreciate this hole here. Here you can see how much filament you have here. And there is a scale which is in grams. Of course, it's not too accurate, but approximately you can see how much filament you have still on the spool. Because when you, you uh, prepare printing in a the slicer, then uh, there you can see how much filament will be used for some object. And then you can see if this will be in out or not. I don't know, it's time for printing. Here you can see the stringing and just as I expected uh, here I have the biggest stringing and uh, here it's reduced but uh, on every temperature it is completely acceptable. Here you can see the overcam properties and uh, they're quite equal of course the best is on the lowest temperature and now let's see the bridging. And uh, I can see no problem with any of these, so it's completely acceptable on every printed temperature here. You can see some full HD images on my website. It's time to test this Arctic Teal color. And of course I will print a bench to check that uh, matte finishing surface. Let's analyze this bench on the daylight. This is the side. You can see very nice overhang surface. Here we can see the bridging, absolutely no stringing at all. And very interesting matte surface. And now I want to check, is it really so easy to remove those supports? Here I have supports on the flat surface and curved surface and also I have some supports which starts from the object, not from the bed surface. Now let's see which one is easier to remove.
so definitely much stronger so I will remove it now with my hand and I will tell you my the feeling Now let's see the Polyterra. So this came down very easily, even with this hanging scale. Wow. Okay, so I can confirm that definitely it's much easier to remove the supports. Since removing of the supports was so easy, I just want to check is everything okay with the layer adhesion. And for this I will use these uh, vertically printed test specimens. And of course I will test also a uh, tensile strength with those horizontally printed test objects. And uh, I will compare Polyterra with the Poly Plus PLA. This is the regular PLA but now it is called uh, Poly Light. So the layer adhesion I will check with these uh, vertically printed test specimens. And the smallest uh, cross section area is 4 by 4 millimeters. And I don't expect to be glowed here, so I will use my weight for testing. I have eye and head protection, so... <laughs> and also I have uh, more than one kilo newton to work with. And as I predicted, the layer adhesion of the PolyPlus is uh, stronger compared to the PolyTerra on same printing temperature. And these are now horizontally printed test specimens, so I can check the tensile strength of the material, independent from the layer adhesion. And it looks like the tensile strength of the PolyPlus is approximately 1.8 times uh, bigger compared to the PolyTerra. Let's see if I can force this uh, box to warp from the printing surface. So I open the window, I open the door and the closest window from the other side and I add here a small desktop fan to have the breeze over the printing object. I raise the printing temperature and the printing speed and I lower the bed temperature and I didn't add the brim or, or use any adhesive and uh, we will see if this object will be warped. I'm starting first with the Poly Plus and then I will test the same uh, with the Poly Terra. The breeze. It looks like there's a little warping, so the method works. The is finished, I can see visually very small lifting in these two sides of this corner, so I will uh, mark this corner here, so I can compare it with the Polyterra. And again the same circumstances for this Polyterra PLA. And at the end we can compare it with this box here. So far so good. Visually I cannot see any warping but uh, I will see when I when I take it off and compare it side by side. But it looks like it is very hard to force PLA to warping. It would be very different if it would be ABS for example. But uh, yes, it looks like it's true that uh, Polyterra has less warping uh, compared to the regular PLA, in this case PolyPlus. According to Polymaker's information, the Polyterra is not brittle at all. But one of the methods I can test this is the impact test. And this one is based on ISOD uh, impact test. And this specimen has dimension defined by uh, ISO 180, that's uh, impact test for plastic. 
I will compare it with uh, Poly Plus. But uh, very briefly, I will explain now. So I have uh, here one kilogram hammer, uh, which will swing to the other side. And that's the zero position because there is no specimen in, in the holder. And then I will place a specimen here and it will break it and swing to the lower position. And from the difference uh, from the Hague, I can calculate the difference in the potential energy, which is equal to the energy which is used to break these uh, test specimens. Polytera. Polyplus. Plus. Poly plus swing to the higher position. This means uh, less energy is needed. It breaks easier. So here is the position where no specimen was in the holder. This is the position where the poly plus specimen was broken. And this is with the poly terrace. Everything if I measure from the white line, those are heights. And this is the calculation. How can I calculate the energy used for the breaking? And one more quick test. Uh, I want to check the bending properties for these materials. Uh, this is not any standard at all. I just want to uh, do some quick uh, bending test. So the cross section of these specimens is 5 by 5 millimeters and the length from this line until center the hole is exactly 100 millimeters. And I will pull it and uh, follow the deformation and the weight. So it's true, it's, it's not brittle at all. <laughs> I noticed that there is always a tension on the filament during the printing because of the bigger friction between the carton spool and the spool holder. I noticed that it doesn't roll so good. Let's try to measure it somehow. And my final thoughts about these uh, filaments. It is very nice step from the polymaker to create uh, environment friendly filaments. And uh, they are cheap, uh, they have a wide range of colors, uh, easier to remove the supports and less warping. So I can see their primary functionality to print some complex figures, for example, with a lot of supports which has to be removed. For technical parts, uh, it is good that it is brittle, but you have to keep in mind that we can layer adhesion when you create your, your design. But probably technical parts shouldn't be printed from, from PLA. Uh, about that uh, bigger friction between a spool and a spool holder, uh, that can be easily solved uh, by upgrading a printer with those uh, rotating uh, spool holders. You can buy those, uh, but uh, I think you probably have a CD printer, so it is a very nice DIY project. Uh, all you need is uh, like two small bar bearings, one longer bolt and few CD printed parts. Uh, probably I will create one and uh, I will publish it in uh, one of my future videos. I hope you like these informations. Uh, thanks for watching and happy printing!